Let me show you a little bit about the branded tour. There is a more information tab and in the edit tab you'll be able to put in all the information about the property. Home located in beautiful Laguna Hills or whatever it is that you want and when you send this out to someone it will actually it will show the more information about the property. You can change that every five minutes if you want to. You just hit the save button and it will be done. Map, there is a map locating the property. School tab, there's a, a tab that shows all the schools in that area, which also has a direct link to those schools too, so that clients can take a look at all the school information. There's a flyer tab that will allow you to move the pictures in any order that you want to to make a flyer that you can actually save as a PDF and change it anytime you want to. Whenever you type in your more information it'll appear here. This is just off right now the way it's showing. And then right here is a QR tab. If you scan that with the with your cell phone it will play the tour after you've edited it. Okay, so over here, let's go back to the branded tour. Okay, on the rest of the branded tour, email tour. You can email this tour to yourself to kind of give yourself an idea of what it looks like when it comes from you to a client. This will give them a direct link to the tour without that ugly link look to it. Uh, view all my tours. You can click this. It will show all the tours that you've done and it will be a link directly to there. Then the gallery tab, what you can do is if you don't want this photo right here in this, let's say for instance we stop this and we pause it and we want to take this picture out and put it in the gallery. What the gallery is consists of all the pictures. You can scroll down here in the small size, large size, medium size, and see all the pictures in a still mode. So if you don't want this picture to show on the slideshow part of it, the intro, then just change it over to the gallery. It has a direct link to your website. Just click it, it'll go straight to your website. It has a direct link to your email too. I would highly recommend that you show people how to click and play it in full screen mode because it's really beautiful at that point. There's a lot of detail showing. And of course you can always go to whatever photo you want to take a look at. So that's pretty much it on the branded tour. Okay, next I'm going to show you the information here for the download, excuse me, your edit. So as soon as you click your edit link, this is the window that you will see. It has four tabs here. Settings will give you all kinds of setting edits that you can do. I'll go through those. Image settings, you can turn your pictures off turn them on, never visible, show in the gallery only, or always show. Image order means that you can take this photo, drag it up here if you want, and it's saved automatically. Next time the tour plays, it will start with that photo. So we're going to put it back down here in place. Flyer. You can save the, the flyer after you finish. You can move this photo or this photo, this photo, this photo, wherever you want to on here. It automatically picks up the first seven pictures by default in your tour. You can hit save and preview it and it will print a, or it will give you a PDF file to save. Okay, let's go to settings first. In your branded tour, let's go to that. There is your title right here on the top. So you can change it right here. You can change your title. Once you change that, you click
click, you go down further down here and you hit save. It will save that change that you just made. Next time you play the tour, the title will be changed. Music. If you want to change the music, you can click on the music. It will play the music. Let's say, for instance, we're going to listen to... This is the one that's saved right here, so we're going to go ahead and listen to it. So if I wanted to save that music, I just go ahead and go down and click Save. And it will change the music next time it plays. Change your MLS service to whatever MLS service you're using. This is where you'll enter your MLS number. Once you've entered your MLS number, the system will send me an email letting me know that it's done so that I can add it to Realtor.com. Okay, and on the branded tour, if you remember over here, you saw more information tab. This is where you enter this information about the home. So you can describe the property, beautiful home located in Cota de Casa, and give all of the information about it, five bedrooms, however square feet or whatever you want. You can change this as many times as you want, as often as you want. As long as you come back in here and hit save, it will save it and the next time somebody plays the tour in the branded version, they can look on more information and they'll find it there. If you want this email statistics every week, email to you, put your email in here. If you want it sent to your client, put their email in there. Put a new line for each email that you want for the statistics to go out to and it will be sent out every week. Then all you do is hit the save button, it will save it and it will automatically send that out every week. I'm going to hit save, I'm going to go out here. Okay, so we pretty much went through all this image order, image settings. Remember, it's all in a tab version so you can click to where you need to go. Remember, if you want to hide a photo and get rid of it, just click Never Visible. It, you're not destroying the picture. It will just will not show in the slideshow any longer. Always Visible shows in the slideshow. Visible in the gallery, it takes it out of the slideshow and puts it in the gallery tab only. Okay, if I want to download my photos, Click this button over here on the right hand side, says download tour photos. You have an option to download all photos all at one time in whatever sizes you want, small, large, MLS version or print version. I recommend that you don't do this because it's a lot of photos to download and just clutter up your computer. What I recommend is that you decide which photo you want for the MLS. Let's say for instance we want this photo for the MLS. There's a small version, large version, and an MLS version, and a print quality version. This goes to a printer if you want to have someone make a flyer for you. MLS version, all you do is you select 109, you look at that, you select it right here, click that button, it instantly downloads to your computer, and you save it to wherever you want to save it, and then you move it onto the MLS. Remember, you just click the button down here below each one. It automatically saves it to your computer. Again, you can save, you can click these and save all, all large photos as a zip file to your computer if you would like. However, again, like I say, I do not recommend that you do that. Uh, there's a lot of file information there and I would recommend that we just you just download one at a time. Again, be sure and remember that you can see this in the full screen. If you have any questions about it, give me a call. I'll be happy to help you with it. Thanks. I appreciate it.